Hello and welcome, it's Debs here. I was asked a question the other day, why did I stay in an abusive relationship for over 20 years? And I thought I would make a video about the answers that came to me at the time and what has come to me about that since. So the short answer as to why I stayed in that relationship was insecurity. And <laughs> how did I get into that relationship in the first place? Again, insecurity. So I want to look at what is insecurity and what has shifted and changed so that I know now I am not, I could no, lo I could no more get into an abusive relationship, get into that same situation now. Um, at that time, I had no choice but to be in that situation. And now I can see I, I couldn't I couldn't be in that situation anymore. So what is insecurity? So for me, what I know was I had a belief, an idea, a, a thought occurred to me that I wasn't good enough, that something about me wasn't right and I wasn't good enough. And I first had that thought at a very young age. And I had no, I didn't realize, nobody told me, nobody ever said that I did not have to believe my thinking. I had the thought that I wasn't good enough. That thought came with a feeling. It, it seemed real to me. So I created that innocently and accidentally. We are born creators. We are always manifesting and creating our beliefs that come um, with a lot of emotion and there was definitely a lot of emotion attached to this thought that I wasn't good enough and so I believed it to be true and that gave me a feeling a deep feeling of something missing within me and then again innocently and accidentally I went on a mission to find whatever it was that was missing from within me on the outside. I went outside of myself to other people, to things, to all sorts of everything to try and fill that hole, that void within me. And so as I grew up, as I grew up, grew older, a natural, on that trajectory with, with what, with the, the, the place that I was headed, there was no other alternative but to end up in a relationship that I was trying to get what I wanted from and the person that I ended up in a relationship with was also insecure but it's almost like the insecurity scale, one end of the insecurity scale means potentially that you end up being a people pleaser or what somebody might call a victim and the other end of the scale um, you tend to be what I call a people squasher and that is instead of like I was trying to be what everybody wanted me to be, please people so that they would like me, not listen to my own intuition, not listen to anything that was going on inside of me but try and be what they wanted me to be so that they would like me and the other end of the scale is where you um, force more, much more of a this is how I'm going to be and I'm going to make you like me they are just neither one is better or worse than the other I, I don't see this anymore when we talk about relationships in in this way it doesn't look to me like one is better than the other or worse it doesn't look to me like it's victim and perpetrator as the victim has no choice and the perpetrator has got a choice um, <laughs> to me it's insecurity and, and how that insecurity shows itself out in the world so that was my experience I felt lost I and I, and I was trying to fill that void within me um, by finding by Getting, finding someone else who would love me enough to feel like I was loved. But when we are in that situation, there, that hole cannot be filled in that way. It, would not, it wouldn't have mattered whatever anyone did from the outside. There was nothing that was going to make me, to fill that hole within me, to make me feel secure, to make me feel whole and complete. There was nothing outside of me, just the only thing that could change that was a realisation of the truth of who I am, always was, always will be. And that is what I see on, on both sides. It makes no difference whether, whether 
you know, you are named as the victim or the perpetrator, the, the abuser or the abused, whichever way around it is, those behaviours, we are, we are acting out those behaviours, we are doing that because of a deep-seated belief within us, a feeling more than anything. It's not even a spoken belief in that sense, it's just a feeling of not being enough. And when we have that, that deep insecurity that we are not enough, then our actions, what we do out in the world, are always going to be about trying to find that sense of being enough. And, you know, that can show up in many, many different ways. Sometimes people can be hugely what we would call successful on the outside as opposed you know making money maybe having a successful business or things but they can still have this huge hole this insecurity within them and the only antidote the only thing that is ever going to change that huge hole of insecurity is a realization and i use that word a realization no it it of the truth of who you are now, somebody can tell you that, but until you realise it for yourself, until you know it from within you, nothing is going to change. And we can't force that or make that happen. But what we can do is put ourselves into a place that that is more likely to happen, if you like which is why I make these videos, which is why I share this, because I know for me, it was in hearing something that somebody said, it was hearing um, about the three principles articulated by a man named Sidney Banks, hearing about the principles from another man named Jamie Smart, that, had, that I had my moment of realization. I suddenly realized I was enough and I had always been enough. I was whole and complete always had been and always will be. And that realisation shifts absolutely everything. It's like a whole, a, a rearrangement of, of life, a rearrangement of your world. When you have a realisation, a knowing that you were always whole and complete. And it doesn't have to come as a big massive one one realization in one sense like that we can realize it well I have seen I did have a huge jump I was like the hole in me the insecurity was humongous and then I had a huge jump forward and then since then and that was in 2011 and then since then I have had intra in incremental steps moving forward moving forward moving forward more and more and more seeing more and seeing that more and more and more and my life continues to change and continues even though sometimes I have to pinch myself and can't believe it continues to get better and better with more and more realizations more and more seeing more more clearly seeing more deeply that truth that I am always whole and complete always have been and always will be and I know Sidney Banks's realization what how he the words that he put on it was I am not insecure somebody said to him you're not insecure you just think you are and what I saw for me was oh I am not I, I am not I am absolutely lovable I just think that I'm not and so then realization real realizing that through thinking that i wasn't good enough i was having to i had created a problem within my thinking and then i had to solve that problem before i could have whatever it was i wanted and what i've really seen since then is okay now from a starting point of whole and complete from a starting point of lovable and being loved and trusting and knowing myself what do I want to do now so that is very much what I'm up to in the world now it's like right okay from that starting point what can we do and what I see is it, it feels to me that there is a knowing within us that we are living in times when we are really raising the consciousness of this planet that we live on and to me, that's what it looks like. Sharing these videos, speaking in this way is 
reacting to my my soul my inner being my inner knowing the god within me to share what it is we know to bring everybody to bring all of us um up to that space of the realization of who we truly are because there is something truly magnificent about that and all of us we are all on an upward trajectory we are we are waking up to a deeper knowledge of what is possible for us and for me the starting point here the, the kickoff point is filling that hole of insecurity through a, a deep seeing a deep realization of I am not insecure I just think I am I am not incomplete I just think I am I am I'm always the allness of everything and then from that starting point what is it we as human beings want to create here because from that starting point what we can create is literally mind-blowingly unbelievable and so it is for me it's about getting everybody to that starting starting line to that starting point okay given that you are whole and complete you don't need anything to to complete you but what do you want to want to do it's rather like um i've got four of the most amazing grandchildren on the planet um and they are so great and it is so lovely to see them play and they are not playing for any good reason other than to explore to find out to to see what they can learn and see what they can find out and so for me the starting point of of, of the deep realization that we are okayness we are an aspect of god we are love what do we want to do from there is rather like becoming a child again it's like okay you're in a playground there's nothing absolutely nothing you have to do here but you are in a playground what do you want to play at what do you want to do what do you want to use this most amazing gift of life for to explore to dive more deeply into to create to have fun with what do you want to use it for go and play and go and do that so that is the mission of my youtube channel the mission of what i am up to to get us all to that starting point so that we can play in this amazing playground called life thank you for listening guys i love you guys um if there was anything useful here please do drop a comment <laughs> i always love to hear from you and i'll be back in the next video take care have an amazing day bye for now